Luca here today? Yeah, Luca practice. Okay. Uh, Luca, Kai, everybody practice uh, today. Uh, Maxi got some uh, some run. Um, did a really good job. And so, uh, but Maxi and Davis will be out uh, for tomorrow. Um, and we'll just see how Maxi feels after a day of practice. But it sounds like you're expecting him back at some point during the home uh, that's the, that's, uh, we'll see. That's not a guarantee. Uh, again, it's about how he feels everything from the break. He feels great. So, um, we'll just see how he, how it goes. It would be great to get him back, uh, with the, in the home stand, but there's no guarantee that he'll be ready to go. And hard, hard away. Yeah. Hard, hard away. Everybody practice. We had a really good practice, really good spirit and energy. Um, sometimes after the break, you can come back, uh, still be on break. Uh, but the guys wanted to practice. They got up and down, and so it was really good. What are the things you, you're really looking at with, with Kyrie continuing to develop chemistry with this team? Yeah, well, I think uh, for Kai, it's just a matter of more the time spent on and off the floor with the guys. And uh, with the, the break, everybody kind of goes their separate way. But, you know, we have 22 games left, and, and now it's just about – uh, connecting not just on the floor but all, off the floor and um, he's an adult he, he knows how to do that so um, you know I think this this next two months should be fun is there a different feeling about like this sprint to the finish versus some others just because well, it used to be like you, you used to have like 27 28 games after the all-star game. now you only have 22 and you've made a big change too so is there does it feel any different? I mean, just because there were fewer games to try to get everything in order. Yeah, well, it is different because the break was uh, so it was later in the schedule. This is one of the first times I've seen the break this late, uh, with um, only 22 games. So um, it should it's going to be different because everyone's bunched up in the West. Uh, so there's some teams that have gotten better. Um, each game is going to mean something, uh, but I, I think just the energy and. Um, and just the excitement of Kai being here, but also, you know, holiday, getting holiday uh, is going to help us. And so we're, we're excited where we are. Um, and now it's just a matter of uh, putting it together on the floor. And we truly believe that we can do that. What do you see Justin uh, fitting in? Yeah, he's a pro. And so um, when you look at his abilities to, to guard uh, multiple positions, uh, being able to stretch the defense, um, and so we're excited to have him. Um, there could be a chance, you know, somewhere where the rotation where he's in uh, early or there's a chance that he could start just to see how he handles that situation. So um, we're going to have to check that box as we go uh, here as we go forward. How much uh, thought as a staff uh, have you guys given to pace of play? Because obviously we saw a difference between when it was just Luka in the game and when it was just Kyrie. Is there going to be a happy medium, or are you got, or will you guys be playing in different speeds during games? Uh, there's going to be different speeds, so that's just the way we're built. Um, but that doesn't mean that we can't play fast um, with the throw-aheads and the ability to get out and run. I think when you talk about Josh uh, and Holiday, these guys can get out and run, and I, with Kai and uh, LDs, their ability to throw ahead, uh, we can look to do that a little bit more. Does having Kyrie here let you get back to being more firm on your second half rotation with Luca? Get back to saying, hey, those first six-ish minutes of the fourth quarter is going to be time for you to rest? Yeah, I think it's, you know, we have that luxury. Now, uh, with Luca wanting to play, uh, we got to get him out at some point. But there's going to be times where we might have to, you know, push him to play the whole fourth, but uh, we do have the luxury to, you know, with Kai um, being able to split those two up uh, so that we can have Kai start the fourth and, uh, and run that group. But it's also where we might be able to run Luca four or five minutes to start and get him out in the middle and then bring him back to two in. Yeah, I think it's just, uh, again, paying attention to the details, um, understanding uh, the defense. You know, in this league, you sometimes you got to give up something to uh, to get something. And we believe 
uh, the, our ability to score the ball. We'll put pressure on our opponent, but we also got to get stops, and we, and we know that. And um, I think the break came at the right time for us to regroup and, and get our defense back in order. I know you're, you're not going to rush Maxie back medically, but how important is he as that piece? That defense? Well, it's big because he's, his ability to guard multiple positions, uh, his, his want to, to play defense, and sometimes not look at the basket on the offensive end. So it, it gives us uh, the luxury to be able to play when we say small with Maxi and, uh, and Luca and Kai out there in two wings. And so, uh, you know, it, it's it's big and we've played without him. And so hopefully when he does come back, it, he, he helps us now. We're not trying to put pressure on on, on Maxi to do everything defensively. And so, uh, and then offensively, his ability to shoot the three and stretch it uh, helps us, but we do miss Maxi, and, uh, and hopefully he's back soon. Playing off the Coop's question a little bit, it was about the new year last year when you all kind of kicked it in and had the strong finish, and you've still been looking for that surge this year. I know you already see the wins always there, but how do you look at that part of it, trying to get that finishing kick going like you did last year? Yeah, this is a great time to have that kick uh, with 22 games left uh, in, in the luxury to have six of them right off the bat at home. Um, you don't really get to see that either uh, when you come out of the break to have uh, you know a home stand like this. So this is this is a big home stand for us uh, to protect home. Uh, but this would be a good time to have that kick. But we're still uh, again with Kai, we're still getting to know each other. Um, and there's going to be some times when um, you, you can see those two out there uh, playing catch with one another. Uh, hopefully that's over. Uh, one, one of them will shoot the ball, I, I can guarantee. Uh, uh, but but it, it's uh, it's about having fun. Um, it's about competing. It's about putting your best foot forward. Um, we understand we're not going to win every game, but it's about uh, becoming a team, and that's that's what we have with 22 games left. A little off topic, but Greg C. Payne is a guy that you worked with back at the Lakers, too. Yeah. Why was it important for you to bring him here, and what does he bring to the team? Um, well, he drove me every day to the game, so I had to bring him. No, um, Saint is the best. So we, we have a young coaching staff, and Saint, um, with you know, growing up in this business, uh, he's been in this uh, since birth. Uh, but he, his uh, basketball IQ is extremely high, not just on the offensive end, but the defensive end. And so I'm very fortunate. But I got to know Saint um, uh, very well in those car rides. Uh, to, to the arena um, and, and so you talk about work ethic he works like no other um, he's here uh, in the morning he's here late and so when you have that type of person on your staff uh, you're going to be successful appreciate Thanks. it Thanks. restful break or did you run, run through a lot of gallivanting about restful break what was the best thing you did I'm sorry what was the best thing you did um, most fun thing. Max and I got a chance to go down to, to Tucson, watch Josh receive his uh, Ring of Honor um, honor, which is pretty cool. Um, he's only there for a year, but obviously left his mark and, and did a great job with his national team, and you know that represents the university as well. So it was it was cool to see him, him and his family get that that honor. Losing Darwin in the trade, <coughs> waiting for Maxi to come back. What do you see as the challenges on the defensive end with this new setup? Um, I mean, there's challenges every night, regardless of our situation. Uh, it's great teams in the West, great teams in this league. We're going up against the best in the world, so every night we have to find ways to to stop some of the best scores and some of the best schemes um, that exist. So those challenges are going to be there, and they've been there, and we're going to continue to try and find ways to be successful with whoever we have on the floor and um, excited to see Maxi come back. Obviously, Dodo is a guy that um, we relied on for a long time and, and is, was a great player in the system. So we'll miss him, but the situation is what it is. And um, we're excited to have the guys that we have um, in the locker room right now. And uh, Max is going to be a huge additive force on both ends of the floor. Um, but like I said, we have to um, work with what we have at every moment. And that's what we've been doing and we'll continue to do. How do you view this, this, this <clears throat> season now? It's a 22 game sprint, as Jason likes to say, not a marathon anymore. Um, but you've got a lot of moving pieces that you're going to have to get on the same page now. Is that, I mean, what was the you, question? How do you, how do you uh, approach that or think of that challenge? 
Um, moment by moment. Um, we had a great practice today, um, going through different situations and, you know, getting our legs back under us. And um, we're going to have a great shoot around tomorrow to prepare for our, for our next game. But um, I think we, we do a good job here of, of focusing on the task at hand. I think there's things that will still need to be figured out as we go along. But I think through competing and trying to win every single possession along the way, um, we'll learn the most about each other and about our system and, and what we need to improve on. So um, we'll bolster up those things that are that are working and, and we'll figure out what we need to, to change along the way. Are you a standings watcher? I'm sorry? Are you a standings watcher every day? A standings watcher? Um, not really, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> I think it's, it's obviously important, but there's been so much movement right now. We really have to focus on every single game. So it's kind of irrelevant for the most part because um, like you said, like Jake had said, this is a 22-game sprint, so um, keep our head down and, and try to figure out to figure out a way to win as many games as possible, and we'll you know look up at then to see where we're at. If you don't like it, play today. It'll, it'll change for sure. Yeah, exactly. So speaking of just new additions, can you just talk about the energy that's been in the locker room and in practices with the addition of Kyrie? Just as a teammate, what's the experience been like watching him practice going up against him and just seeing what he does at night what he does in the class? Um, the energy has been great. Um, he's definitely come in and bought in right away. Um, he's been great in terms of locker room on the court and um, helping us get better, which has been great. Vocal, vocal leader in terms of getting with guys individually and, and talking through situations, which is something that's you know helpful for everyone. And, and it's great in terms of um, fast tracking, you know, our cohesiveness um, in terms of the things he's able to do in practice and in games. I, I mean, I think there's no surprise. It's it's nothing short of phenomenal. So um, it's exciting to watch, and it's it's uh, it's beautiful to watch someone so creative um, play with the game um, the way he does. And to have two guys that are at that level of mastery is is exciting for for us um, around them, and um, gives us a, a crazy amount of fire firepower. Um, it's on us to just remain ready for all the situations that may arise. What specifically uh, are you guys like kind of keyed in on as you head into like the last few games of the season? Do you guys feel like you can move on to better your chances to get into the playoffs? I mean, there's a lot of specifics. I think now at this time of the year, it's details are kind of what uh, set teams apart. So there's a you know laundry list of things for different guys and for different situations, for different lineups, for different um, competitive situations throughout the game, different teams, different lineups. So. Um, yeah, there's a. This is the time where we kind of get down to the nitty gritty as we go into playoffs, where that's what it's that the make or break in the playoffs is, is those um, granular details. So, um, to answer your question, defense. <laughs> <laughs> Are you uh, gonna have to wear that the rest of the season? You figure? Or? Yes. Yeah. And does it about does it hinder you at all? No. You see on the offensive end your role in trying to help get Kyrie incorporated and help Kyrie and Luca kind of learn to play together. Um, I mean, finding situations to, to make myself available. They, they both are willing to play off the ball. So um, whether it's splits or pinaways or getting other guys open to create, you know, vacuums for those guys. But at the end of the day, I just got to be ready for the opportunities that they're creating mm -hmm. because. The gravity of those two is, is insane. So having them out there at the same time, um, I really got to be ready for a multitude of situations. And their creativity means I have to be ready to, to change, make decisions on, on the fly and um, be able to read quickly to, to create the core balance that they'll need to, to do what they do. So um, it's a lot of film. It's, it's getting used to guys in practice. Um, but it's one of those things that comes with, with time. So looking forward to how we all kind of grow together over these next few games. What, is your thumb broken? No. What happened? Um, an attempted offensive rebound in the New York Knicks home game went, to, went awry. It's a while back. Yeah. What are you doing? Is this like a sprain? Or? Yeah. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks, Wade. Thanks, Wade. Gracias. Thank you,